Hello everybody, my name is Graham Elwood and you are watching The Political Vigilante. This article was submitted by Patreon supporter Eric Husseau. Eric, thank you much for supporting the show. If you go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood, you can support the show and contribute to what we've got to say on this show and tell us about this that happened in Alaska. Gold over life, literally how Trump forced reversal on mining project EPA scientists warned could destroy Alaskan salmon ecosystem. This is one of the world's most beautiful places with a thriving salmon run and now we'll get some gold. So the EPA and the citizens of Alaska said we don't want this, this is, we don't want this gold mine happening, okay? By the way, I did a video a couple weeks ago that the water in Alaska has risen temperature-wise past 70 degrees. Salmon can't survive past 70 degrees. And salmon are dying, like wholesale. They're just dying. And now, so the EPA, which is both the Environmental Protection Agency, that's what it stands for, said we're not allowing the drilling. And then what happens? After a meeting with Alaska's Republican Governor Mike Dunleavy on Air Force One in June to withdraw the Environmental Protection Agency's opposition to the gold mining project, a day later, he, a day later they did it. A day later. So you think your you think your politicians are are fighting for you? No, they're bought and paid for. If you live in Alaska, you should be you should be outside the governor's mansion right now protesting. This is what Friends of the Earth had to say. EPA just lifted a restriction blocking the pebble mine, which would decimate 3,500 acres of Alaskan wetlands. I'm assuming if you live in Alaska, you, you're an outdoors person. That's why you live up there, right? Not when Trump and his gold buddies want to get it. Yet again, the agency charged with protecting our public health and environments is abandoning science to advance the interests of a wealthy few. Great. Awesome. Four EPA sources with knowledge of the decision told CNN that senior agency officials in Washington summoned scientists and other staffers to an internal video conference on June 27th, the day after the Trump-Dunleavy meeting on Air Force One to inform them the agency's reversal. One EPA inside told CNN, I was dumbfounded. We were basically told we weren't going to examine anything. We were told to get out of the way and just make it happen. So when conservatives tell me, is this, is this that Trump is making America great again? They always say we don't want the government in our lives. You don't want the government. Deregulation's better. Deregulation is going to ruin. If you like hunting and fishing and doing that up in that area, guess what? It's going to get ruined. Is that good? Do you like that? The salmon go? <laughs> I've talked to a marine biologist. They're like, if the salmon go, it's over. But good, as long as a couple of rich guys get some gold. Boy, that'll help. It's psychotic. It's psychotic. Those were restrictions put up there during the Obama administration. Obama could have done so much more to protect the environment. But he just put these little restrictions out there. He could have done so much more. He, he could have made it impossible for Trump to do these kind of things. Instead, he made it easier for him. If you don't like Trump, I don't like Trump. <laughs> the Democrats let it happen. Alaska was a state that voted for Bernie Sanders in the primary and the superdelegates gave them to Hillary, just so you know. That was Alaska. That's what the Democrats did in 2016. Thank you for supporting the show, Eric. Thank you to all out there for watching this. Please like, subscribe, and share these videos. And like I said, you can go to patreon.com slash Graham to support the show or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. All my videos are up there. They're ad-free, okay? For $10 a month on Rockfin, you get access to all the content creators, including the Convo Couch and Ron Placone, all of their bonus content. It's a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. See Ron Placone and I in the Progressive Comedy Tour, September 4th through the 8th. We're going to Omaha, 
<clears throat> excuse me, Sioux Falls, Madison, Minneapolis, and Iowa City. September 20th, I will be in Moscow. September 28th, I will be in St. Petersburg, Russia. Those ticket links are coming soon. November 14th, Ron Placone and I are going to Melbourne, Australia. The 15th will be in Adelaide. The 17th will be in Sydney. And the 22nd, we will be in Perth. Tickets to those shows are already moving. We are three months away. Get your tickets now. GrahamElwood.com. All the links are in the show notes below. Thank you for watching. And you are all making Gotham great again.